I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm very excited. Oh, I have, I have, I actually have something to talk about this time. <laughs> and not only does it involve one of my best friends, it involves Riley! <laughs> wow! I'm so excited. I'm too excited for this. I'm a little... I'm like a kid in a candy shop right now. I, I don't know how to contain myself. I don't... I've never... I haven't had tea to talk about in a while. And yeah, I wasn't late. Soon. What's up? Ah! Let's see. Oh, I'm so excited. Y'all have no idea. Hmm? It was so nice to meet you, Bryce and Austin's fight. Aw, thanks for checking in. And yes, I'm gonna stream tonight, okay? Yesterday, I forgot that I had a friend's birthday party I had to go to. And I went there, and then I was like, there's no way I'm streaming. No way I'm streaming tonight. So, yeah, sorry, friend's birthday party. But I will stream tonight, and it's a scary game. It's one that I've seen on a lot of For You pages, or not For You pages, something like that, I don't know, but. <clears throat> I'm not kidding, Amanda's gonna walk in in about two minutes, and I will ask her, did we go to a birthday party last night? She'll say yes. Anyways, moving on. I'm Frick. feeling like shit because I'm so mad. Did we go to a birthday party last night? Yes. What? See? I wasn't lying. Yeah. So they had fun just kissing. Anyways, um, <clears throat> I'm just saying, you know, Riley's been saying it's way for a while now. You know, hanging out with Bryce a lot. Yeah. That kiss was definitely not the first kiss they've had. We hang out a lot. Yeah, I can. Was definitely not the first kiss they've had. We hang out a lot. Yeah, I can. We're talking about Bryce and Riley here. They've had. We hang out a lot. Yeah, I can. We're talking about Bryce and Riley here. But like. I mean. She's staying. We've seen them interact. I've never seen them like kiss off camera. But I don't know. She's like living there now. She doesn't have a place here. She's in, she's from like. North Carolina. North Carolina. And she's that sway. There's a lot of empty rooms that sway. No, no, there's not. There's no empty rooms that sway. Let's see, there's a. Uh, there's. there's... I know pretty much moved down, right? No, no. Let's see, J Rod had his room. Blake has his room. Noah has his room. Warren has his room. And then Bryce has the biggest room. But 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 I, I feel like out of everyone there, if she were to share a room with somebody, I think. 
Bryce has the biggest room, but 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 I, I feel like out of everyone there, if she were to share a room with somebody, I think it would I think it would be Bryce. I, mean, I don't know. I'm just I'm just hey. Charles and Riley Queen. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. They look good together. Yeah, they look good together. Yeah, they definitely fucked. Um, they, uh, I... I'm like, being put on the spot. Like, Aren't Swain moving? I don't know. I have my... They're moving out of that house right now. I have my apartment. The... Hold this. Guys, Kyo finally has furniture in his apartment, which I'm so excited about. He has a coffee table. All he had... By the way, his bed is on the floor. Shut his up. mattress. Shh, shh, shh. Sh Mochi's crate was the only thing until I'm gone for one day and he built furniture. I'm like, this is nice. Anyways, I love Mads. This was just a game we were playing on podcast. What was that about? I don't know. About oh, because um, Thomas Pedro said some shit on some podcast about everyone you got in trouble. Yeah, war. You said so. earlier you had to kick some people out of the house. Who did you have to kick out or tell them to leave? Um, I didn't see this. I had to tell the Lopez brothers to leave. Okay. Them. Um, there was a girl, Darianka. I had to tell her to leave, and then uh, Daisy. But Daisy was a whole houseboat. Honestly, all four were a whole houseboat, and everyone voted no. Whoever was in it at the time. Um, but yeah, that took me out more. He also talked Darianka about Jason's right like Darianka clothing. Thing. That was because I think like there was a bunch of drama going out about her like talking shit about Charlie, and Charlie was kind of like. A part of it still, but like overall time, she felt uncomfortable, and I was just like, yeah. I was like, Charlie yeah. says, jump, you jump. That's yeah, that's the rule. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Charlie could yell, jump right now. I'd jump. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm been, I've been friends with Charlie for so long. I was like, I don't want her feeling uncomfortable at a house that like. And she's so young, young. and little. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wanted her to be happy there, so that was that one. And then Daisy, obviously, that was one was a big scare. That right. Mads Lewis. No. No? Why? No. Why? Well, because of the same drama. Like, there's good drama and there's bad drama, and I've known Mads for a long time, and... I, no. Well, like, and we froze. What's the drama with her? No, no, I love Mads. Like, I've known her for a really long time. She's sweet. But, like, it, like, I don't know. I've just seen some things with her back when she was, you know, dating who she was. And, like, I saw things in person where I was like, I couldn't deal with this in person. Too much drama. Yeah. I didn't really take anything away from that because everything he said was pretty viable. You know, like, Mads, too much drama, and everyone else that they kicked out was like a houseboat. They didn't want them there anymore. I don't... I mean, Lopez Brothers, obvious reasons. Darianka, that one was a little iffy. Daisy, obvious reasons. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really think that's tea unless Mads replied and said something. I don't know. Nessa Barrett posted this to her is. I don't know. Yeah, well, I mean, she had a scandal for liking Trump. I was trying to help her get out of it, but then she was like, no, but so what about my political views? And I was like, why does everyone call Edward? Yeah, well, I mean, she had a scandal for liking Trump. I was trying to help her get out of it, but then she was like, no, but so what about my political views? And I was like, Shouldn't hit it as much. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I love Addison Rae. Live and die by Addison Rae. But that could be a little funny for sure. The Trump. Hey, I'm not sure. I'm just for sure. Dude, if Trump was next to you, just for like no, the, I wouldn't. Like, no, that's just that's what I know. I could be like, fuck no. Yeah, but, I mean, she had a. I don't. I still. I still stand by the fact that I don't see why. Why. Why Addison's getting so much hate for, for introducing herself to Trump. A very powerful, very problematic, very egotistical man, but nonetheless very powerful. And a president, ex-president. Like, I don't, like, <laughs> Addison is far from racist. So I don't see why her just introducing herself to the president is such a big deal. Like, are y'all that hurt by it? <laughs> like, come on. I don't, I, I really don't. Like, personally, I wouldn't go up and say hi to Trump because I just, honestly, I wouldn't do it now because I just feel like I'd be worried about something like this happening because I said hi to someone that, is, that was the ex-president that I get canceled. 
people are way too sensitive. And don't say y'all ain't sen- don't say it's not about y'all being sensitive. It is. Y'all are just too sensitive. Y'all are some snowflakes. Anyways. Addison! So Addison's got a new man's and it's confirmed. Sort of confirmed. That who's that? I don't know him. I never knew who he was until I started seeing him all over the place with Addison, but um I looked into it and he's Machine Gun Kelly's uh guitarist or something. Um Yeah, that's all I know about him really. I don't I, ah. Yeah, so um is this where Bryce and Addison both finally move on from each other and stop getting back together like a fucking high school couple? What? They're both maturing? They're both maturing and growing as people, but they're still getting canceled for the fact that they're going to grow and be a better person? I don't get it. I really don't get it. It's like you're, they're both trying their best to move on, but everyone just keeps... Yeah, so they kissed again. Why does Bryce look like Logan Paul in this though with the little hat? And you guys know exactly what I'm talking about when I say it with the hat. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm. Oh, Jaden, did y'all see Jaden's crowd? I don't know what that was, like if it was his concert or something, but all I know is that there was a lot of fucking people there. Oh, okay. I thought it was like a concert specifically for Jin and Nessa or something. And I'm like, what? But the crowd was there for them for sure. Well, yeah, they were all cheering us like hella. Yeah, that's nuts. I didn't. I saw that and I was really surprised. I was like, yo. Am I going to be at Lola next? Nah, uh, probably not. If anything, I'm gonna go to Europe. Also, I don't. Someone educate me on what happened with the baby. Someone educate me on that, please. He like said something homophobic and said he was gonna be a nun or something. Yeah, he was gonna beat him up. Yeah, Jared. Yeah, Jared. Yeah, Jared. Yeah, Jared. Interesting. Yeah, Jared. Yeah, Jared. Yeah, Jared. Yeah, Jared. Interesting. Oh wait, Bryce just posted with Riley. <laughs> Tell Riley to put her toes away. What the fuck? Since when has Riley become a... Riley is slowly becoming a sway girl. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Riley is slowly becoming the first sway girl. Even though her and Bryce are doing whatever, she is just becoming like a... Like, she's becoming a sway girl. Is Riley going to be the first female inducted into sway? They posted the picture with you, by the way. It was. And then they posted a picture with Ashley, and that's, that's full on... That, that's sway. <laughs> I'm putting the word out. I think Riley should be the first sway girl. Because <laughs> one of my shoes, they're nice. They're the off-white Converse's. Too. I'm a disaster. Hey yo, fuck you look at. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways.
guys. A downgrade. It is. Brain cells. I think it's more like she, she. You know, she has emotions. She's still young. She's our age. You know, she's gonna have slip ups. Like it's normal. Like, a, a slip up. <laughs> It's, it is a slip up, you know? I don't know. She when she that, commented on Riley's thing and then deleted it, I was like, oh. She does that a lot. She'll do something and delete it. I don't get it. Um, What's up with that? I don't get it. It's like, bruh, just and be, like, enjoy it in silence. You don't have to, you know what I mean? It's like. Yeah. But she, she seems to be happy with this guy. So I hope she's happy, but stop caring about your ex. <laughs> like, bro, why did she comment on Riley's post? If I was that I, guy, I I'd be that so mad. Girls are different. The way girls see it is different. Like, I don't know. I, I guess when the breakup is still fresh, it hasn't been, like, over a few months. It it's been a few months. How long, when did they break up officially? Like, actually? Break I don't up. know. Like, what? Three months ago? Yeah, that's fresh, dude. You're gonna Not talk. even. They broke up like five times. Yeah, but you're going to talk about your ex. And I'm sure she went through shit with Bryce that like people don't know about. That's like me commenting on Olivia's girlfriend's post. That's weird, bro. It's weird. I mean, it, it's, it's weird. It's different. It's different. <laughs> no, that's weird. <laughs> like, come on. Were and Riley ever friends? No, they were never friends. They never like knew each other. Okay. okay, they're like friends, but it's like someone you met once and yeah. um, you know what I mean? It's, it's like, like me and Addison in passing. Like I've met Addison a few times. It's very high in vibe. Yeah, yeah, it's like, like, like it'd be strange if she commented on your post, you know? Yeah, and I'm like all of a sudden like it's what? It's strange enough that she commented on it, but the fact that Riley's like, I guess with Bryce now, like, I, if I was it that just, guy. She knew what it was going to look like. If I was Omar, I'd be so mad. I'd be so fucking mad. I feel like also maybe he's helping her heal her heart. Not like a rebound, but just healing. I was gonna say, oh, so he's a rebound. No, <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh no, they broke up in February or March. That's like five months ago, bro. It's like five. No, it's six months ago. You don't think they were sneaking around to see each other? Come on, there's no way. Okay. Well, you you see your ex at least a few times after you break up. I did. I mean, I, I, I didn't like like that. You but. had like a normal, like, uh, not a normal, it was like a very healthy, clean cut. No, it was not. Well, it was a clean She was that soy every single day, bro. Yeah. I was like, why are you out of my house? Leave, let me deal with this breakup. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing about that no, breakup was normal, bro. I heard bro. about that. <laughs> and then I find out she was even like that. I know. <laughs> okay, nothing about that breakup was normal. Cute, okay. <laughs> Not shade to Olivia. No, this is not shade. I swear to God. Like Kyo's grown up and. I'm glad I, like, she's happy. I'm 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 glad she's happy. Like, yes. She, we she, are happy for Olivia. I'm happy for her. <laughs> it's 420. Get the weed. Just we kidding. Don't smoke I don't weed. Okay. <laughs> I just, Kyo are so boring. Like we. I can still make jokes that I do. Okay. I can be cool and edgy. <laughs> Let me be edgy. Ah. Okay. Anyways. What other drama is there? You need to hang out with Vinny. What? Oh, this is birthday. Tell them the story. It's fucked up. Did you even tell him what happened? <laughs> okay, to be fair, I called him like a, like a few times before his birthday and after texting him, I still get no reply. Yeah, but Vinny's overwhelmed and you know people go through shit, but I, I told you that. Like, maybe it wasn't on purpose. Sure. Just, just, just. Anyways, so I, I didn't post a birthday post for Vinny because. I, I, didn't, I didn't get an invite. I didn't think I got an invite. I was waiting for something from him. And I was like, damn, not even like a text saying, yo, come on birthday. Or like a text from like someone in the house from Hype saying, come to your birthday. And I was like, damn, I, did, I didn't get invited to his birthday. That, and damn. everyone was there. Like, and like literally everyone was there. And I was like, bro, I didn't get invited. Like that just hurts. That just hurts. Like first, first he just like starts ignoring me. Then no invite to the birthday. And I was like, damn, I'll just, I'll just. Go this way then. We were in then, Washington anyway, but like I guess it just hurt Keo that. It like the thing is I couldn't even go to the birthday if I got the invite, but the fact that I did get an invite, I was like, bruh. 
But you saw Vinny at Space Jams and said hi, and it wasn't. Yeah, but like whenever I see him, it's like normal. I don't know. But then after he came back from Washington, we went to that Justin Bieber concert. Um, we texted Rafi. I texted Rafi, our good friend Rafi, and Rafi was the one that sent me the invite to Vinny's birthday party. Mm-hmm. So that was like, that was a little awkward, but uh, like, bro, I was literally at the at the show, and I'm like. Okay, it's in the shop. But how long have you been without? Okay, it's been you? two months. I don't get it. For a fucking yeah. headlight and paint. <laughs> huh. Anyways. Keo's been having to drive my car, and my car is like you know the standard girl mobile. It's a Mercedes with like no AMG, like nothing. I got it when I was seventeen. And Keo is so sad every time he drives it because you don't hear any revving. Or anything like you know how guys. See, I drive a Ford Mustang Mach One, and that thing is loud. I've never seen another one in LA, by the way, like a yeah. Kios car. It's really cool. And it's like my car. like literally, if you see a must a Mach One in LA, that's my car. You put, come say hi on the street, but <laughs> God, I drive your car. Bro. I will floor it, and it will go from zero to twenty in two business days. Shut up. <laughs> like, bro. Listen. A port, if you get that taken, you're gonna gap me. What does that mean? The taken, gap, like, like you'll. It's fine, I'll just, I'll just mom my car. Anyways, um. In other news, Kilo forgot his mom's birthday. No! He forgot. Shut up! He sent her flowers though. Shut up! I did too. So, on the days leading up to me trying to fly Mochi out, I... Did you tell them the Mochi story yet? Or no. Wait, tell them. It was so oh awful. Oh my god. Dude. It that... took... I had to find a, a vet that would get Mochi's papers while I was in Washington. Found one. And then you have... So, when you want to fly a pet on a plane, okay, you have, to get a, you have to get a health certificate. But that health certificate is only good for 10 days. So 10 days past that point is when you can fly, okay? So I came back to Washington and I'm like, yo, I gotta go back there, pronto, Mochi. We do all this. I get on the phone with Delta to schedule Mochi's spot on the plane with me. Eight hours go by on this fucking phone, nada. I hear jack shit from Delta. I didn't hear fuck all. I, and I was like, there was no option for a callback. There was no wait list. It was just like, you will be helped or served in under two hours. I'm like, okay, two hours, not that bad. I can go. It was like six hours later. Six hours like, later. Okay. I'm like, yo, two times three is six. You are over three times off the calculated time. So he called them out. So I called them out on Twitter, fun fact. And they replied to my Twitter. Like they DM me on Twitter. Delta DM me. Help me through it, scheduled the flight, scheduled with Mochi, everything. Great. The, for the next morning, right? Like, it was the next morning. In that morning, we couldn't fit Mochi's travel cake, crate in the Range Rover we drive. And I'm literally like sitting there trying to kick, like, Shale LeBeau Transformers 3 style, just like, bah, 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 trying to kick that shit in. It was like, listen, we didn't. I broke the door of the cage by doing that. I broke the fuck out the door. We had to take out the spare tire in Lucas's Range Rover. I'm telling the story. And then I'm like, what else can we do? And she brought the idea, like, isn't there a spare tire? And I was like, yeah. Lifted up the, the Range Rover mat, you know, took out the spare tire, and ended up, the, the cage actually managed to fit, but sideways. So my dog is in a travel cape sideways. Um, we drive today. By, by the way, it's pouring rain in LA. Like LA was pouring rain at, at what was it, like 5 a.m. in the morning? And I'm, and I'm sitting there trying to kick this freaking cage in the goddamn car. Pouring rain, all right? We managed to do all that, you know? We drive off the, the house, it was on, on top of a mountain, you know, that we're staying at our, at our friends, and then we're driving down. We drove about 10 minutes before I realized I had forgotten 
the fucking papers, the health certificate papers, to even allow him on the plane. <laughs> So, so, what do we do? Huh? What do we do? So, we drove, we turned back around, went back to the house, got the, uh, got the papers, and I'm like, all right, everything, we have everything, nothing can possibly go wrong. <laughs> and then I get a call from Delta, and they say, oh, there's a pet embargo, your, your, your pet cannot fly. So yeah, that was my experience with trying to fly my doge. And someone said, look at Bryce's TikTok. Let's look at it. Bruce Hall. Hopefully more shit happens <laughs> next week.